Lancers cheerleaders ready to light it up for the title game. First quarter, it's Cornerstone coming out on fire, trapping the D4 co-player of the year, Michael Bothwell, the steal, and the land Patriots quickly up six to nothing. Lancers settle in, Chandler Adams the rebound, long outlet to Derek Utsi. The Lancers get on the board, Utsi, 10 points for Lincoln View. Later in the quarter, off the miss, Trevor Neat off the bench and hitting the boards. Get the put back, Lincoln View down by three. Minute to go in the quarter, Lancers down five. Neat on the fast break, makes it a 13-10 game. But the Patriots start hitting from outside. Bothwell plays, beat the buzzer, and wins three-pointer. Cornerstone up 19-12 after the first. Second quarter, Patriots adding to it. Brandon McQueen, the hoop and the harm, makes the free throw. Junior, 13 points, Cornerstone up 19 at the break. Third quarter, Lancers need to get the offense back in gear and solidify the D. Neat coming on strong, foot injury not holding him back, gets the land, Lancers down 19. Later in the third, Chandler Adams after a slow first half, gets the hoop. Channel six points, 10 rebounds, but the Patriots just too much. Bothwell from the wing, eyes and flies it, three is good. Sophomore, 14 points, six assists, four block shots. Lancers do play better in the second half with a hole too deep. Meet the layup, Lancers never get closer than 17, and they lose. 72-54 game high, 16 points for Neat. Austin Leaf adds the 10 points as the balanced Patriots shoot 56% from the floor, 7 of 15 from deep, four players in double figures. Lincoln View takes home the school's second state runner-up trophy, a 27-2 campaign, means there's plenty to be proud of in Lancerland. You know, I'm just more focused on my team and, you know, the privilege to coach the guys I got the opportunity to play for 29 games, you know. As a coach, to have eight seniors, the type of kids we do that, you know, shared the ball um, so well. And it's just such a unique group that I don't think too many coaches get the opportunity to experience. And, you know, I just thank the Lord for, for giving me that opportunity. And, you know, like we told them there in, in the locker room, you know, we're 20, I think, what, 27 and 2, and we lost to Division Three state champs and Division Four state champs. You know, to have that on our record, we haven't been here since 97. Like I told them, only 20 other kids have put on a Lincoln View uniform in for a state tournament. You know, and that's an accomplishment to these guys. You know, like I told them, you know, we didn't have a winning record till last year, from 2005. We were 10 and 14 last year, and, and for us to go, you know, 27 and two, get to the point where we're at, it's, you know, incredible. And, and that's a testament to the these seniors, uh, the leadership they showed. You know, buying into everything we were doing. And, and it's just it, you know, it's a blessing for me um, to be able to coach them. Coach, you gave up 41 points a game throughout this season. What did Cornerstone's offense do or have that gave you guys problems? Um, they just did a great job of attacking the basket. You know, to start the game, their their defense led. I mean, their defense led the easy transition points because we turned it over early. And you know, I think that kind of set the tone for the game. You know, we we made mistakes. I thought after the first couple minutes, we did a good job of handling it. But you know, we just struggled to stand for the basketball. And when we did, you know, when we had to rotate over and help, and Chandler helped out of the paint. You know, they were able to drop it off and get easy bus buckets. And you know, and, and that's what hurt the most. But like I told the guys, you know, at halftime, you know, we're down 19. You know, we got to come out ready to play and you know play for the name on the front of our jersey. And I thought we battled. You know, we won the second half, and I'm extremely proud of them for not giving up and just throwing in the towel, and it shows the character that these guys are made of. Coach, late in the first quarter, uh, you've gotten several stops in a row, got back into the game. They hit two threes right before the end of the quarter. Uh, what, what did that do for the quarter? Um, it just changed momentum, you know, and it was a two. I mean, obviously their best player hit the one, and you know I thought we did a decent job contesting. You know they just made shots. You know you got to tip your hat to them. You know we played some good defense. You know even 14 hit a couple threes there, and you know we had a hand in the face. It's just sometimes you know teams play better than you, and uh, unfortunately today they played better than us. Austin, Trevor, you two, you know big part of this resurgence of this basketball program since since Coach came in, you know four years ago. What was it like for you guys to you know? You know, reach this ultimate goal, even though you did fall short um, down here in Columbus. Yeah. Uh, just an awesome feeling coming down here. The success we've had all season just didn't end the way we wanted to, but no better place to end it than here. Yeah, it was, it was a dream come true for me. Ever since I was little, I've been dreaming of you know playing at the shot one day. So coming down here with the group of guys that we had, it was yeah made that dream even more special. 
Coach, the, uh, the quickness of Cornerstone seemed to give you some trouble. You just expand on that. Oh, yeah. And you know, and that's what you know, was our problems, you know, sometimes attacking and getting the ball the whole day. I think they did a great job on Chandler. You know, they rotated over, they fronted him and rotated guys from the backside, so it was tough to get the ball inside. And, you know, and they just did a fantastic job of, you know, getting us to go for their shot fakes and getting around and either getting layups or kicking it out for threes. And, you know, it, it was a challenge all night, one we knew it was going to be. And, you know, unfortunately for us, we didn't give our best defensive effort today. Coach, this group of seniors has been together for quite some time. You've kind of come in a little bit in the middle of their run. What have they grown to mean to you? Uh, a lot, you know, even when they're in junior high, you know, I've been at Lincoln View now for nine years and, you know, I was a JV coach and, you know, so I've got to see them mature and grow. And, you know, you look at when they were in seventh grade, they were six and 11. You know, and, and how far they come, just the maturity they've had. And, you know, when you have kids without a coach telling them to go in and they're lifting in the morning and shooting in the morning and then the summers are coming in and, you know, when they get mad, they, they, they mean a lot. You know, like I told them in the locker room, words can't explain the feelings I have for them, you know, and the feelings they have for each other. It's awesome. And, you know, like the nice thing for us, we do have eight seniors, but we had, you know, a lot of underclassmen dressed, and a lot of those guys were um, sophomores. And I told them they need to learn from the, the chemistry that they had, the bond they have, um, you know, is unique. And, and it's just cool to see the growth they made. But, you know, it's unfortunate for us that it comes to an end. You know, we, we knew it was going to come to an end. But, you know, on the final day, uh, we were one of the last teams getting the chance to play the basketball this year.